Okay, so here is Mr. Mingle Man, and we had a, another breakthrough with him today. Um, he cantered on his own. Now, it wasn't beautiful. It was a four-beat, but at least the bunny hopping is gone. Um, and he seemed to be very comfortable. He was just cantering around on his own, and he's like, he's kind of like going, hey, look, Mom, see what I can do now. I'm no longer so crippled. So that was, that was a really good step. So I am using a TENS machine on him today. And this is what it looks like. This is a solar tens. And I've burnt out about three of them. I've been using them for about the last 20 years. Anyway, the point of the tens machine is um, transcutaneous neuromuscular stimulation. So you can do one of two things with it. You can um, wake up nerves that are sleeping, or you can calm nerves down that are um, overheating. So <clears throat> I'm using this on him and I should have the other end grounded by holding it with my hand, but I'm holding the phone. So what it does, what I'm doing now is I'm working my way along the bladder meridian and I have hit when the, when the, the, it makes a noise, it's finding things. And when it's quiet, like now it means it's zapping. So I'm electrocuting his back in for him. Um, what happens with the beeping is that, there you go, you'll hit spots where it's quite low and the resonance will drop. And you would hear more of a change if I was able to put the grounding and hold it with the other hand, but I don't have anybody to do the video as well as work on the horse. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. And so the machine will find spots. And it's kind of interesting um, because sometimes you'll get a very high pitch and that means that it's an inflamed nerve. And other times you'll get a much lower pitch, which is what's happening with him, is I'm getting a much lower pitch, which means, hello, Mingo. Hi, handsome boy. Oh, God, we had a carrot and we were very happy. Um, what is happening with him is that the low pitch is showing me that he's got nerve impingement in between muscle and sometimes in between bone. Because when I'm running it and I'm grounding it like it should be used, I am finding that... Um, I'm getting the pitch dropping quite a bit. And so I'm starting to wake nerves up. And the reason that I know that I'm waking nerves up is because his movement is not what it should be. So obviously his, his nerves are not controlling the muscles properly. So I figured that after I'd finished, not finished, but got a lot of the muscle, deep muscle um, work done that re alleviates the spasms and the pain, I then needed to move on to rehabilitation of nerve endings. And that is what the TENS machine does. So he has also moved in his work from just work on the flat to now he's beginning to step over raised poles or cavaletti that don't move. Yes, Mr. Mingo Man. So you have to pick up your feet and not be lazy. And funnily enough, he's doing really well with them because he knows they don't move. So he's figured out, oh, geez, I shouldn't hit them. So that's a good thing. Anyway, I'm really happy um, and looking forward to seeing what the TENS machine is going to do. And by next week, after I've had the chance to give him a couple of treatments, um, you will probably be, be able to see some difference in the way he moves. So it's over and out from Mingo for now, and we will have another video later in the week. See ya, guys.